Hello everyone, my name is Brian Teague and I'm the Chief Technology Evangelist and Co-Founder here at PocketStop. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about our SMS plugin and how it works with both static and dynamic marketing lists inside of Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online. As the name implies, a static list is uh, working with static members. You manually add members to a static list, whereas a dynamic marketing list uh, is, uh, is, is more automated and you select the members based upon uh, specific criteria. So let's take a look at, uh, at both of the lists and then let's see how we can use them with our SMS plugin. Okay, what you see here is um, I'm inside of Dynamics CRM Online and I've got my marketing list pulled up and as you can see down here I've got an SMS test dynamic list type dynamic and I've got an SMS test static and it's uh, defined as type static and this is working with uh, contact uh, information. So if I go ahead and click on the dynamic marketing list I'm gonna pull up the particular list and its members and while I'm waiting for that um, to appear okay there we go as you can see here I've got two members in this list and the reason being is is that when I click on manage members you'll see how this list is uh, comprised what I've done is is I've gone into each one of these contacts and I've listed manually listed the zip code as 99999 and down here I've selected the the criteria for my dynamic marketing list is is I've said hey anywhere where the address one the zip postal code equals 999 go ahead and pull in members for this particular list so I'll go ahead and close that and these are the only two contacts that have 99999 as the zip code so that's the reason why we see them here now then when I go back to my marketing list let's click on the static list and take a look at that one now my static list members as soon as they render here you'll see the same result both Brian Teague and Tim Avey I've manually added uh, these two contacts to the SMS static list now then let's go ahead and create a text message and see what that looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this uh, create button and you'll see the create dialog box here and I'm gonna go ahead and select SMS and then we're gonna wait for that particular screen to render and so um, I'm gonna go ahead and select from Brian Teague on the to field I'm gonna leave that blank because we're working with marketing lists I'm gonna type in SMS and I'm gonna go ahead and select static if I was working with the, dyna the dynamic list I'd go ahead and select it there and the subject I'm going to say test SMS to static marketing list go ahead and copy that and down here in the actual message field I'm going to copy and paste the same thing now down here in the regarding uh, area I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is regarding pocket stop my company so I'm gonna go ahead and search for that scroll down here to the bottom select pocket stop and now I've got my SMS message created and I'm gonna go ahead and send it so I click send and uh, wait a few seconds and then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my phone and I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password here and while I'm waiting for that particular message to materialize I'm going to go ahead and um, type in my name Brian Teague oh, there we go so the SMS just rang on my phone, test MS to static marketing list. I receive the, uh, the message, so everything is working good there. Now then, when I click on Brian Teague, I should see the SMS as an activity under the Brian Teague contact record. So I'm just waiting for this particular screen to uh, materialize. Now then I'm gonna click on activities and here we go test MS to static marketing list completed by Brian Teague today so as you can see this SMS plugin is extremely powerful 
Using the plugin, we can send text message marketing communications and notifications to both static and dynamic marketing lists. With dynamic marketing lists, we can control who receives the text message with all kinds of uh, fantastic criteria, filter that message, uh, and target that communication down to the individual with relative ease. Well, I hope that you can see how powerful the plugin really is. Uh, in some of our later videos, we'll explore some other features. But that's really all for now. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. And